Hello and welcome to Relax Media. This is your Tito Pablo and we are playing ETS2. Well, actually we are going or I am going to create a tutorial video for ETS2. So this will be intended for those who are going to play ETS2 for the very first time or if you are planning on purchasing the game just now. Before we continue with this video, allow me to invite you to our Twitch channel. I am now starting to be an active Twitch streamer. The link will be in our description if you want to check out our Twitch streams moving forward. So on with the video. Alright, so uh, we'll, be, we'll be driving this truck first. And then I'll take you to... The creation of a brand new profile afterwards. Okay, so uh, what is the game all about? Well, the game is basically... Um, the, the game will basically take you on a journey from becoming a, a driver who is uh, hired, who's being hired by different companies to drive uh, different trucks, pulling dif different cargoes from uh, one city to the other all across the continental Europe. Well, most. Uh, the most of Europe, uh, to to be exact, right? So uh, the game has been around uh, for uh, more than five, seven years. The game was released back in October 2012, and uh, yes, as I mentioned, the goal is to deliver as much cargoes as uh, possible, or. Uh, the goal of the game is for you to deliver cargoes from different uh, locations and uh, of course you would be you'd be rewarded by in-game money experience points and also the the uh, thrill of uh, being able to discover different uh, the different countries so where will you be purchasing the game well that will be on steam uh, Steam's the way to go. I'm not sure if there are any other places offering uh, ETS2, at least a di digital copy of the game. Uh, the best place to purchase this game is on Steam, and I'll be linking that on our description. The reason why you'd want to purchase this game on Steam or through Steam is that you'd have access not only to news and automatic updates of the game whenever the developers release a brand new version of the game. Speaking of which, we are uh, playing on 1.37 beta version uh, the uh, the official 1.37 version for ATS has just been released uh, I think yesterday or a few hours ago I am not sure but it is already available so uh, instead of you manually downloading updates from the developers website if you have the Steam version it will do it automatically for you all right and uh, of course on top of that you are also able to download steam workshop items for ets2 uh, there's a lot of wonderful free additional content for the game so it's more like a, a free dlc so, uh, mods are created by um, the modding community and uh, indeed ets2 has a very active modding community not to mention all very talented as well okay so that is we have covered where exactly you would be purchasing your game just in case you are planning to uh, drive an ETS2 so uh, the next thing that we will be covering is of course the game mechanics and we need to get out of this truck and be on the main menu just give me a few seconds here all right, so here we are on the landing page of the game. So after the intro and uh, the logo of the game has been shown, you will have this screen right here. And uh, if you will be running the game for the very first time, you don't need to worry. If you have a, a slightly different screen, you're not expecting to see any of these profiles for the very first time, obviously, because of course you do not have any game profile set up yet. So I'll be showing you exactly how I uh, set up my profile. So I will, will have this name demo 
1.37. All right, in here you'll be able to choose your pictures or these are the default female uh, avatars. All right, and you can also select male avatars. And if you are an avid fan of uh, trucking content creators from YouTube, you might actually recognize some of these folks like Squirrel here. There and uh, since Scania is my favorite truck brand, we'll go for that. Um, and a logo you can go any any logo you want. So company name, we'll call it Relax Logistics. Logistics, if I can spell it. Okay. So I'd also advise you to always ch uh, check your Steam Cloud or use Steam Cloud because basically this becomes your primary uh, save game um, storage, for the lack of a better term. Uh, if you are connected to the internet, you can check this for you to have a main save game from the Steam Cloud and then there's a backup always being saved on your, um, on your hard drive. All right. And uh, just one more thing, the uh, very first truck that you'll be driving is the uh, truck that you will be selecting right here. But that does, that does not necessarily mean that uh, you are only uh, able to drive a Scania S series all throughout your driving career in ETS2. That is a no-no. This is just uh, going to be your default truck, the very first truck that you'll be driving, and on top of that, the very first, um, the very first dealership that will be unlocked would automatically be a Scania dealership because that is the brand you chose upon setting up your profile. Click on create, and uh, sorry for the loud music. Let me turn that way down. Let's turn this down. I just hate this music. Uh, we'll, we'll have this turned off as soon as we're able to land on the uh, main menu. Okay, so here are our, this screen right here is the input wizard. So if you are use, using keyboard to drive, just click on keyboard and that would do it for you. But I am using a steering wheel, a Logitech G29 to be exact. So I'll be selecting that with a real automatic transmission just to keep things simpler. And uh, after doing so, just click on Finish Wizard and it will take you to the next step, which is to select which city will you be starting your trucking journey. So uh, a lot of uh, the uh, seasoned players of ETS2 would tell you that it would be best, it would be best for you to start around the center of the map, which makes sense, right? Because there are a lot of businesses um, right here about in Germany let's say you're in Cologne you'll be near Dusseldorf Duisburg uh, Dortmund and so on right you get I mean uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so uh, that is uh, pretty much self-explanatory however um, however of course it is not a requirement for you to do so you could you could start basically anywhere or uh, maybe maybe you are from from the United, or maybe you have uh, you have a specific city in mind that you want to uh, visit someday. All right, or just choose any city that you uh, want to uh, start in. So uh, for the sake of this video, we'll just go to or we'll just start our uh, profile or our journey in Rome. This is where your uh, first garage or your trucking headquarters will then be located. So right here, you are greeted with the uh, establishing shot of whichever city you have selected to be your uh, home city. Okay, enter, continue, continue. The very first delivery you will be uh, tasked to deliver would normally be a very short, uh, a very short one. Alright, so the game is just designed to give you a very short uh, delivery at first, just for you to uh, uh, perhaps get the hang of uh, what is in store for for you in this game. So right here we have two kilometers of uh, of uh, distance to cover. 
Like I mentioned, it is very short. There. You can now switch back to the normal audio levels so that you can hear. I hope you can hear the uh, truck very well. The uh, truck engine or the exhaust engine noise sound. <laughs> Okay, so you have, or we have, officially started our journey as a, uh, as a trucker in-game. So from here, you'll be able to make your way towards the, uh, the uh, dream of uh, having your own trucking company, your trucking empire. And uh, yes... In this game, you are able to purchase multiple trucks for your fleet. And uh, you are also able to uh, hire drivers. Those are AI drivers, which will then work for you, earning you enough cash for you to grow your company even more. In order for you to hire drivers, you need to unlock um, the recruitment agencies. Those are marked on the map with a question mark, a gray question mark. All right, we are able to get to our destination so right here trailer delivery we will have three options so uh, where do you need it is going to be the hardest one because it would require you to reverse park your trailer let's play it safe is uh, let's say the medium one I guess we can just drive here without reversing we can just align our truck right here and uh, be done with it and if you don't want to uh, manually deliver the truck or the load you can just uh, click on this this is going to be the easiest one however it will not give you in any bonus XP so uh, for now we're going to, we're going to select the the hardest one which will give us a lot of uh, XP well so it's quite challenging to reverse park a truck especially if it is your first time driving one Oh, the thing is, driving a truck with a trailer attached is uh, counterintuitive. You turn the uh, steering wheel to the left, and the trailer swings all the way to the right. And uh, that is vice versa. So, yeah. But the thing is, you just need to take this very slow. It's nice and easy. Alright. Nice and easy. Or if you want to make things a little bit easier, you can use the mouse to look around. Yeah. Are we online? Now we can fix this. Yeah. Alright, so you'd want the... Uh, the uh, the white line that uh, died right there to turn green by the time it turns green that means that you are ready to complete your delivery right there I think that's de decent enough okay turn the engine off and then we detach our trailer to complete the very first delivery in game so there so that is our 90, um, additional 90% XP because of um, reverse parking the trailer. From reverse parking the trailer, I should say. Okay, so that is it. After that, you are now free to um, start your trucking journey by taking different cargoes from different companies. So this is your headquarters. And soon enough, you'll be able to park your trailer, uh, park your truck inside of it. And if uh, if you if you uh, already have enough cash, you can also upgrade the uh, garage to or the headquarters to house more trucks. Because of course, you are not able to purchase more trucks if you do if you no longer have enough uh, truck slots on your uh, on your garage. Okay. Let me show you what uh, you need to do next after that first delivery. You just need to click on the job market and click on quick job. 
This would give you all of the available tasks. You can select any of these trucks right here. Right. If you uh, want to experience driving a Volvo T-Range, then perhaps select this. Or if you want to drive in a different truck, you can absolutely uh, do that. Alright, so I am back. I just switched profiles uh, quickly because this profile is already set up with all the controls. My, the uh, controls that I am used to uh, using, not the default one. Uh, so that's that's just the difference between this one and then the uh, profile that we just created earlier so after we are done with the very first delivery we are shown the uh, headquarters earlier i mentioned that you uh, you would want to upgrade that first uh, before you can purchase more trucks for your fleet uh, but your but uh, that is your uh, end game goal for now the goal is for us to uh, to uh, finish as much deliveries as we can so that the bank would be able to pro to provide us a loan that we can so we can um, finally purchase the very first truck that we will be able to own and drive of course owning your own truck in this game would reward you with more money and uh, more XP as well uh, but basically more money <laughs> um, so alright so before we continue with this delivery just uh, allow me to show you some of the icons in game that we can cover this already so this one right here the one that has a truck with a purple icon is an already discovered truck dealership okay so by default these truck dealerships needs to be discovered um if uh, if it is not yet discovered it will just show a, a gray question mark icon um so dealerships and uh, uh recruitment agencies would both be have uh, would both have question marks if not discovered uh if it is not yet discovered okay if you see those question marks and you think that it would not take you so much time to actually get past that just spin that location so the the satellite navigation would reset and uh, would take you to that uh, location for you to discover that question mark again question marks the gray question marks on the map which is absolutely plenty uh, could be an undiscovered uh, dealership where you can buy trucks or it could also be a driver depot where you can recruit drivers for your fleet in the future so uh, that being said you cannot purchase any other trucks if you haven't discovered those dealership yet so for example the uh, default truck that you have selected is a Scania the very first truck dealership that you will have available will be a Scania and if you want to purchase a Volvo you need to first discover or unlock a dealership for a Volvo so that the uh, design route for us to take right and there's a city right here or there's a town right here called burn that has a great question mark what will i do is i'll pin this location for the satellite navigation to create a route that would allow us to get past by the immediate vicinity of that question mark resulting for us to or uh, which would allow us to discover this location so right now i am not sure if this is a driver agency or if this is a dealership we need to uh, get past that for us to discover not only this question mark right here but also this town so uh the name of the towns are in uh, that are in white are not yet discovered the one in yellow like this one uh zurich is already discovered so what are the perks of discovering those towns or cities well discovering more cities in game means that uh, the next time you uh, go to the quick job sec uh, section which is in the uh, job market so quick job um, the more cities you unlock the more delivery options you will get and that also means the more chances of you getting those jobs that will be paying more let's go ahead and drive and continue with uh, our trucking journey. 
Okay, so one other thing. Um, the one of the things that you will be earning, one of the two actually, one of the two that you will be earning for delivering cargoes is, uh, of course, money. That's number one, and then the second one is XP. XP basically is the one that makes you gain more levels as a uh, truck driver in ETS2. Um, and the reason why you need to level up fast is uh, for you to have the ability to purchase those sweet, sweet upgrades for your trucks. Those are the reason why you'd always want to deliver your cargo uh, selecting the uh, the uh, hardest option to to deliver that uh, requires you to reverse park your trailer okay and of course um, speaking of which being a good driver speaking of uh, being a good driver uh, in this game if the option is enabled well by default it says it is enabled uh, traffic rules so if it is a red light you need to stop uh, green light of course means go because if you run a red light there will be a corresponding fine so that is again um, money that is uh, that is gone if uh, if you disobey the traffic rules speeding would also cause you to lose money uh, crashing into another car, another vehicle would uh, cost you to lose money. All right, damaging your cargo would definitely uh, make you lose money, and uh, being late for a delivery would uh, also cost you to uh, lose money. So, if you want to, if you uh, want to earn. Uh, quick cash then make sure you follow the uh, traffic rules you do not drive like a maniac and uh, just just drive as uh, as smooth as possible <laughs> that's basically what I'm what I'm uh, trying to uh, say okay eventually uh, as you progress you would also earn skill points allow me to show you skill points well actually we do not have this skill, uh, any skill unlocked yet. Um, all right, so we are back in my main profile. So I'll just show you the skill tree I was talking about earlier. So this is the skill tree. Obviously, if you are going to start from the very bottom, you will not have um, all of these unlocked yet. You would need to place one skill point at a time uh to any of these but if uh, but uh my tip is that you invest on long distance skills first and uh, maybe put the first three skill points on long distance uh, for you to unlock um deliveries up to 350 550 and 850 kilometers and uh, on top of that, you will receive plus 5% higher reward for delivery distances longer than 250 kilometers, plus 25% bonus for delivery distances longer than 250 kilometers, and so on. Okay? So, almost forgot to cover a, a very important part of the game, which is the actual act of you purchasing your very first truck. Now, Let's say, for example, that uh, you have modded your uh, your your in-game credits, and for that you also modded your experience to be a bajillion XP. All right, so we are not limited by the XP and what we can buy for the trucks, for our accessories, and all that. Here's what you will do: go to truck dealers. So here, you can see that I have uh, quite a few. A truck dealership that I was able to uh, discover or unlock so this is the importance again this is the importance of discovering as much dealerships uh, as as possible for as long as you're purchasing your truck within the uh, store hours or dealership hours you'll be able to just click on it and then visit the selected dealer okay so we'll be taken to a screen showing us the very beautiful 
trucks that this dealership is offering okay all right so uh, we are we're not choosing any any specific model in particular i'll just be showing you that you're able to configure your own truck to your own liking so you can select whichever cab you want from the available uh, options here okay you can select the cha the uh, type of chassis you want normally i would go for a uh, a uh, mid lift six by two there the one that has another axle right here that is steerable and also something that we can lift up or down or we can lift up if not needed there um you can select from the available engines down from 360 horsepower up to 510 horsepower truck some trucks are even has 730 horsepower so yes you can also select which transmission would you like right there um it all depends on what what uh, you would want the truck to be or uh, what what is the purpose of the truck uh, there are transmissions for normal cargoes transmissions designed for for heavy cargoes and so on okay um we are also able to select the interior and in some trucks there are a lot um a lot more than what this uh, truck is actually offered with there um we can also select of course the uh, paint job and also some other paint schemes so custom paint jobs um your the, the logos the default logos the theme themed default logos of the game are also here um you can also have per uh, pearl colors there and um uh brand themed uh, paint jobs or paint schemes flags of different uh, countries so these are the uh, a part of the uh, flag dlcs or i'm sorry uh, flag paint jobs or this is for obviously italy japan um so these are sold separately all right so yeah you can select the paint job of your truck and uh, of course you can also accessorize your truck and uh, there are there are ETS2 players that are really drawn to uh, personalizing their trucks so some people spend hours and hours just uh, just beautifying their truck to just to make the, the just to make their truck their very own okay so those are the few uh, I think th that is one of the uh, biggest factor of uh, ETS2's charm. Uh, of course, apart from the uh, driving experience. So yes, you can customize your truck. You can mo you can also install mods that uh, provides you more auxiliary auxiliary lights. There, and uh, change that to chrome. You, re you can really go crazy with these. Um, with these accessories we can change our rims or yes we can change the wheels to aluminum wheels or aluminum wheels or our friends from Europe there we can change the tires and real life brands this is an official official DLC Goodyear and uh, Michelin tire DLC we can also have a cover or or can also uh cover our what there we can also cover our side what how do you call this uh, side skirts you can also have side skirts make that chrome yeah we want chrome all around our truck right so this is um see chrome dark silver chrome dark silver chrome there uh, okay can also change that to a good year tire a good year tire no uh, a good year tire 
there. And of course, the wheels could also be changed to chrome. Okay. So you can really, really uh, make your, your truck look absolutely stunning with these accessories. There. Chrome. Yeah, you can choose to have all chrome uh, accents all around your truck. There. Change the side mirrors to chrome as well. Uh, sun visors you can also use chrome. There. You can have lights. You can install lights on our uh, selected sun visor. You can install illuminated uh, logo or emblem there. I'll just go for a painted one. And we can still have lights here. Alright, we can have lights there. Okay, we can have a uh, customized plate that has our name there and of course because we are proud to be a filipino we can we can uh flaunt the uh, philippine flag right there okay what else Our light bars you can install beacons have lights different lights up top also have another pair of beacon th beacons there or a set of beacon there and of course we can accessorize the interior of our truck we can select from these uh, steering wheels uh, of course this is a modded content right here there ooh it's pearl okay all right have uh, dashboard toys can have uh, hula girl, hula girl. You can have Pikachu. There. You can have uh, something to hang in this. Uh, Patrick. Patrick is the one that I always use. Oh, again, this is a modded content. All right. You can air freshener. You can even have a companion. Right there or if you want to wish it, to have a dog you can also have have our dog sit on the passenger side and yes that's basically it when it comes to when it comes to our uh, truck customization All right can you can really make your truck stand out you can make your truck really yours by personalizing the truck to your heart's content okay so yep so the next thing that we'll have in this video are the gameplay options coming right now we are almost done with the video I will just show you the uh, game options that I leave on or off okay so game settings fatigue simulation is something I normally check so we'll leave that check traffic traffic offense wait why is this off traffic offense should be on okay. it's always on for me um, I'm not sure as to why these were removed but uh, yes it's uh, it's on again uh, route advising speed warning is off automatic parking dialogue this is going to be a window that asks you to skip the parking okay so that is always disabled for me keep route advisor hidden um, I, I I'm leaving this to default and I think that is just disabled so basically this heavy cargo warning screen is a pop-up whenever you will be starting a job 
um, if the game thinks that you have, uh, if you if the game thinks that you do not have enough power in your truck, or if your truck is not suited for that heavy cargo, it will give you a warning screen. Uh, but you can dis uh, but you can just disregard that by con clicking continue, or you can permanently disable that by clicking this off. Okay, map alignment is uh, something I do not mess around with show navigation always best navigation mode um i just leave it at best if uh if you select small roads it will not um as much as possible the game will route you out of the motorway or the expressway parking di difficulty this is uh, at always at skilled parking so that i'm getting the most xp um random events i leave that on detours i mean i leave this at the default rate show cutscenes i don't like that turn that off uh, invert mouse uh nope transmission type well i have a shifter i have a shifter right here with an sgrs shifter from almar um normally i would drive in 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 manual but uh for the sake of this video, I selected real automatic just to keep it simple. Okay. Braking intensity, well, you can just uh, select which works for you. Mine works right here on the spot. Um, and right here, these four sliders are by default right here on the very right side. Now, this, the uh, truck stability and trailer stability is basically... Um, this would not uh, this would stop the uh, truck from rolling if uh, you're taking a corner at uh, much speed but uh, to make things realistic for me trailer stability is zero and then truck stability is something uh, about uh, I place about 10% okay so I need to always be careful while driving uh, around corners um, cabin and suspension stiffness cabin suspension stiffness and uh, suspension stiffness is something that you would want to always uh, place on the left side because it would uh, it would make the uh, the uh, the uh, truck move more realistically because it will have bounce right um, if the uh, stiffness are all the way to the right it would it would feel as if you are driving a sports car that has a very uh stiff suspension okay all right so uh advanced trailing trailer co um coupling this is by default turned off uh, i'm turning it on basically if this is uh, enabled you need to align your truck to your trailer properly in order for you to attach it okay um, truck speed limiter is always on for me. It is limited to 90 kilometers per hour. Uh, I cannot go beyond that. That is realistic. You can turn it off in, if you want to drive uh, faster than 90 kilometers per hour. Uh huh. Automatic retarder. Uh, those are by default. And realistic fuel consumption is always on for me. Air brake simulation is also something that I always turn on. Air, air brake simulation, what this does is if, um, if the air pressure of your truck for the brakes are at a critical level, it would not allow you to move forward. It will not allow the truck to be driven. So you need to uh, get back to the normal level of your air, air uh, brake pressure for you to continue driving. So just to make things, again, more realistic. I steering know. camera rotation is on for me. And steering camera rotation factor is right about 30%. And um, I dis that is disabled during reverse. Okay. Basically, steering rotation, uh, steering camera rotation is when I turn the, the uh, wheel to the left, the camera would uh, slowly pan to the left. And uh, the same is... The same thing happens when the uh, wheel is turned to the right. Um, but uh, if the truck is on reverse, that is disabled. Okay. Blinker camera rotation is disabled. Physical camera movement, yes, and it is 
uh, all the way to the right. Default. And that is it for the gameplay options that I I go with whenever I uh, I play ETS2. So this is true with all of the profiles that I use. So if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, perhaps leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe with notifications on. This has been your Tito Pablo of Relax Media. Have a great day. Bye-bye, and I'll see you on the next video.